What if I told you we might be heading back to a barter system, but in a completely unexpected way? From trading goods thousands of years ago to Bitcoin today, it seems like we're coming full circle. And here's the real question. Is community the new currency? Let's go back in time to explore the idea. Picture this. You're in ancient times and you need something. You've got grain, but you want shoes. What do you do? You barter. You exchange your grain for shoes and maybe even help out your neighbor along the way. But here's the thing, as inefficient as barter was, it built communities. Now fast forward to today, and we live in a world of instant digital payments, cryptocurrencies, and global commerce. But something interesting is happening. People are once again exchanging value through community. Whether it's creators supported by a few true fans or businesses built around trust, loyalty, and mutual benefit. It's not exactly barter, but could we be heading back in that direction? Talking about directions, how about you directing your finger to the subscribe button? It helps us get our videos out to more people. Go on, I know you want to. So to understand where we're going, we need to know where we've been. Barter was the first system of exchange. It was how people got what they needed by trading directly with one another. But as societies grew, barter became less efficient. Imagine trying to trade a cow for a loaf of bread. And that's where currency came in. With money, you didn't need to find someone who wanted exactly what you had. Money, whether it was shells, coins or paper, became the middleman. And this system helped civilization scale from ancient Rome to modern global markets. It was flexible, easy to carry, and unlike goods, it didn't spoil. Fast forward to the digital age, and the game is changing again. Now we have cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, a decentralized digital currency that allows people to trade value directly without a bank or government in between. It feels revolutionary, but in some ways, it's a return to peer-to-peer -peer system, much like barter. We're exchanging value directly, just in a digital format. But here's where it gets interesting. We're not just exchanging money anymore. We're exchanging trust, loyalty, and even attention. Is this a new kind of barter? Let's bring this idea to the present. In today's world, there's a growing movement of creators, brands, and businesses who aren't trying to reach everyone. They're focused on building deep connections with smaller, dedicated communities. In Kevin Kelly's article from 2008, he discusses the idea of the thousand true fans, saying that you don't need millions of customers to succeed. You just need a small group of people who love and support what you do. But here's the kicker, this isn't just about money. Value exchange in these communities often goes beyond dollars and cents. Creators offer exclusive content, early access, or experiences in exchange for loyalty, feedback, or even advocacy. Fans give time, trust, and attention in return. This kind of exchange feels a lot like barter but in a digital age. Instead of trading grain for shoes, people are trading their skills, time, or loyalty for access to content, products, or even community recognition. It's not exactly bartering physical goods, but it's still a direct exchange of value within a close-knit community. Could this be the future of how we build and support brands? For those of you looking to delve deeper into your brand and its goals for the company and for you as an individual, we have a free download on how you can create your own BHAG in the description below. And don't forget to check out last week's video, which runs through what a BHAG is. Now let's talk about how cryptocurrencies fit into this. Bitcoin and other digital currencies have revolutionized how we think about money. They allow people to exchange value directly, much like the old barter system. But it's not just about Bitcoin. It's about what comes next. We're seeing the rise of community-driven economies where value isn't just measured in cash, but in strength of relationships. Whether it's creators funded by their true fans on Patreon or small brands thriving through personal connections, the modern economy is starting to look a lot like barter, but with a digital twist. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin enable peer-to-peer -peer transactions, bypassing traditional systems just like barter once did. And as communities grow tighter, trust becomes the new currency. People exchange value in different ways, loyalty for access, attention for influence, support for exclusive experiences. In a world where community is king, are we really moving back to barter just in a modern digital form? So have we come full circle from ancient barter systems to cryptocurrency 
and now to communities exchanging trust and attention, it seems like we're heading back to our roots. Value exchange has always been more than just money. It's about relationships and what we give to and get from each other. Whether it's through Bitcoin or a loyal fan base, the future of trade and exchange is about building community. Barter may not look the same as it did a thousand years ago, but in an odd way, it's making a comeback, just with a digital twist. But what do you think? Is value changing for you? Do let us know in the comments. Thanks again for watching. We make videos every week about culture, trends, brand and digital innovation. Stay curious and see you in the next one.